What's up guys, Rising Chat Fitness with Eric Blandin. Right here, we're about to head to the gym to hit some back and hamstrings. So we got our Salvation Extent, Green Apple Explosion, and our Greek Yogurt with Walden Farms Chocolate Syrup. Very good combination, it's like dessert guys. So zero calories, and we got, here it doesn't focus in, well it's zero fat, 19 carbs, and 12 protein. So this is for the morning guys. It's 12.40. I did not just wake up, but we're going to head to the gym now. And yeah, so we'll start up with um, cardio, guys. So see you there. What's up, guys? Today's subject is nutrition. And before we start, this is my first time on the workout split. I actually changed all of them. And I started with cardio, but didn't film. No need to. Um, I did it really to warm up five minutes get my mind right guys. So back to nutrition This is a very simple subject for teenagers and elders. So I'm pretty much gonna say caloric surplus to bulk which is progressively increased caloric intake and Caloric deficit to cut progressively decreasing caloric intake guys So for my clients I include one serving of veggies every 850 calories and always include some fiber and multivitamins so veggies are just to be safe and receive the nutrients and make sure the body stays healthy as for multivitamins. As for women, I'd say one serving of veggie every 450 calories due to different caloric intake. Alright guys, so I go by macros. If it fits your macros, which means simply eat what you want as long as you hit your caloric goal at the end of the day to either bulk or cut. So I will eat Denny's if my damn tummy craves it as long as it fits into my diet. Macros consist of fat, carb, and protein, guys. You will have a certain goal depending on who controls your caloric or macro intake. So example, um, if pancakes have 33 carbs and five grams of protein with no fat, and I need more, sorry, and I need 33 more carbs and five protein, that means it fits. Remember, being short or over about one through four fat, carb, or protein really isn't going to affect your body unless you're really strict on it and having uh, or being a competitor in a bodybuilding or figure or whatever show. So don't get all crazy, guys. And another thing is usually what I recommend on cuts is to try it and stay away from eating out due to non skated foods on restaurants and all those places. If you're on a strict diet um, or a competition so let's go into bulk uh, sorry guys so let's go into bulking for teenagers I'm not saying to be obese but as kids eat whatever you want but exercise and take the opportunity um, till you're about 19 to 20 to bulk why I say is because for teenagers going on a deficit wouldn't be necessary due to that's pretty much the period of time your body grows and eating like a bird won't help your body have that push all right guys unless you're seeking or having a set day to step on stage then you obviously have to cut um so eat and eat whoever says i'm not gaining weight you're not eating damn enough guys i hear that a lot but you guys you got you know it's not only just working out in the gym you guys got to work on at home also which is on eating so eat till you can't no more guys and pretty much you guys should monitor it if you guys aren't really um gaining weight so you should, guys should have like a net goal on um your caloric intake guys but for other people i honestly say you guys don't have to monitor bulk unless you're reverse dieting off of a competition guys so if you guys aren't gaining weight on a bulk i'd say monitor to make sure you're hitting what you're supposed to hit every single day guys so for elders i'd say have your bulk monitored and progressive slowly so pretty much yeah so just monitor it and progress it slowly so you won't have any bad effects guys and cutting i pretty much went over it's very simple guys so if you guys have any questions um email me or comment below um concerning that topic guys and so this saturday coming up which is january oh january sorry guys february 15th i'll be coming out with my posing which i'm about 30 30 days out so it's gonna be four weeks out so 
31, 31, yeah, 30 days, 31, I'm not sure. So, um, yeah, guys, we're hitting it hard, and till next time, guys. So, right here, I'll be showing you guys um, my post-workout meal. So, see you till then, guys. What's up guys, Eric Blandin. This is our post-workout meal from Back and Half Trains. I'm on low carb diet, so remember there's not gonna be anything too big guys. So right here is the coleslaw salad that I always make, like the video I just saw how to make it, so I'll put the link somewhere in the, in the description or whatever it is guys. So, all right guys, right here is a can of tuna, bumblebee, chunk white albacore, and two whole eggs boiled, so. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put in the tuna and the two whole eggs boiled inside the coleslaw. And another thing I forgot to add, guys, is in on the tuna, I simply just put mustard, guys. Well, I'm not gonna show you the mustard. There's any freaking mustard, guys. So you guys can put whatever you guys want on the on the tuna, pretty much. That's how I prepare my shit. So um, all I put is mustard. Stir it up, and that'll fill me up for a couple hours. And today, all I got left is actually I have to go back in the gym like around six. Right now it's four twenty-two, so around six I have to go back to the gym. And sorry guys, uh, I gotta go back to the gym and do abs, lower back, calves, and shrugs and traps, pretty much whatever. Um, I actually forgot to do the traps um, when I went to go hit um, back in hamstring, guys. So that's my post-workout meal. I showed you guys my pre-workout meal. And that's that's all for this vlog, guys. I don't want to make it too long. So until next time, I'll be posting up another vlog of my leg day, which will be coming soon. Um, I'll be posting up frequent videos now that I'm 35 days out, I think. I'm pretty sure. I'm about 35 days out. It's been a little bit hectic, so I haven't been recording that much. So 35 days out, I'll be putting up and posting more vlogs, probably like three a week. So stay tuned for that, guys. And um, that's about it. So like I said, till next time, guys.